I mean, have you, when you're looking at Apple's spending, at their costs, did they have some sort of big explosion or growth during the pandemic, particularly in headcount, the way some of the other tech names did, or are they in an entirely different position? You know, um, my, my impression is they're in a very different position. Part of this is, you know, if you think about the big thing Apple does is, you know, on the manufacturing side of pieces, they can do outsource all of it essentially to Foxconn and some of the ODM companies. So they never had to scale that up. Uh, where they did scale up hiring, and you can see this on the PNL, is really on the R&D line, right? R&D was growing at a faster pace, one and a half to two times of revenue growth. Uh, but, you know, if you think about the R&D investments they're making on, you know, assets like the M1 processor, those are actually helping them pay off from a market share margin perspective. So they did scale up hiring, but it was very modest and it was very much around integrating new componentry within the products. It wasn't around large scale manufacturing, which they have always outsourced. I've read a couple of um, reports from your peers this morning, basically arguing that the bear case on Apple has been weak, uh, mostly valuation driven. And to get paid, they really need the company to talk down demand and, and build a, uh, allow for some cracks in the phone story. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, the, the saying is always, you know, as goes iPhone sales, so goes Apple stock. Um, I think that's absolutely going to hold up uh, every time, including this cycle. Um, so far, the demand looks not only strong, but actually strong at the very high end of iPhone. So uh, you know, if anything, I would argue the mix shift is going to be much more favorable than what the street's modeling. Uh, that could be a nice upside surprise. And then the other part that I feel is very less talked about, but could be a nice swing factor on the upside for Apple is for all the negativity that you're hearing on the semiconductor side, especially memory, all of that is the input cost for Apple, which should imply Apple's gross margins and free cash flow could surprise folks on the upside. I think that might be the one kind of sleeper surprise through owning cycle this week. Hey, me, it's a uh, quick one. Have you priced in an AR headset from Apple? I asked because that B of A note downgrading Meta today called out a, quote, potential new Apple competition. Uh, you know, I think we've sized it up in terms of what it could be in fiscal 23 when it officially comes out at a few billion dollars, four or five billion dollars. But I think it's not in our model. It's not in anyone's models. And my gut is this is going to be a lot like the Apple Watch launch. It might be a bit of a snooze fest initially, but as apps build up, you'll see it scale up over the next three to five years. Yep. Often the way it is, whether it's AirPods or even the iPhone, it, they take a while to scale it up. Amit, thank you.